Hello Reception, Mr Gear here. This week in maths we are going to be talking all about weight. Weight. Now weight is how heavy something is and today we are going to be comparing different weights. Comparing weights. Comparing weights. Now normally at school we would use the weighing scales that look a bit like this. However, we're not at school at the moment, are we? So, here's how we can make one at home. The first thing you're going to need is a hanger, just like this. Make sure it's got something like these on the ends or on the top, okay? After that, you're going to need some string and some cups. And I need you to make two of these, just like this. Make sure that the strings are the same length. Okay, so they hang exactly the same. Then all you need to do is grab a piece of string and put it on the top one side, and grab the other piece of string and put it on the top that side so it slides in just like that. When you're done, you could have somebody stood there like this. You could get your brother and sister to stand like this or your mum or dad. I'm going to use the cupboard behind me. So here we go. There we go. There is my homemade scales that you can use as well at home. So, what we're going to use this for is we are going to compare two different weights. So, when I put things in the cups, they're either going to go up or they're going to go down. For example, if I were to put a spoon in this cup, and if I don't put anything in the other cup, which one's going to be heavier? The spoon or no spoon? Yeah, the spoon's going to be heavier. And if it's heavier, heavier, then it's going to go down. Because as we learned last week, gravity pulls things down to earth. So I'll put the spoon in and it's going to go down. Just like that. Can you see the bottom of this cup is lower than the bottom of that cup? Go. And I let go and they go back to being equal. We can use this to measure two different objects. So, I've got my spoon. Hmm, what else have I got here? Oh, I've got a Lego brick, just like this. So, hmm, I can use myself as a weighing scale. Which one feels heavier? Hmm, I think the spoon is heavier, and I think the brick is lighter, heavier, Heavier, lighter, lighter. Okay, now we can find out. So if the spoon is heavier, can you remember, is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Yeah, it's going to go down if it's heavier. Let's have a look, shall we? So I put my spoon in one side. Remember, only one of each thing. So one spoon and one Lego brick. Spoon in this side, Lego brick in this side. Let go. And wait for it to settle. Right, let's have a look. Which one is heavier? Yeah, this one. This one is a lot lower, isn't it, than the other one? So that means whatever's in this is heavier, which is the, the spoon. And in this one, I've got the Lego brick. Make sure it settles again to make it even. So that is your challenge for today. I would like you to choose one item. So for example, the spoon. I would like you to go around your house and first of all, use yourself as weighing scales, just like we did with the spoon and with the Lego brick. Can you feel which one you think is heavier? And then you can test it out using your homemade scales. I would like you to find five things that are heavier than your object. Your object can be anything five things that are lighter than your object. So my Lego brick can be the first thing that I found that is lighter than the spoon. I might find a plate. Hmm. Which one's heavier? I think the plate's heavier, like that. Now that won't quite fit in my cups, but what you can do at home is you can try and make bigger cups. Maybe you can experiment with how you can change this to fit a plate into. 
how about a banana? Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think the banana's heavier as well. So, find those five things that you think are heavier and the five things that you think are lighter. Put the spoon or your item in the middle and then check. Use your scales to see if you were right. As an extra challenge, as an extra challenge, I would like you to measure using, hmm, using something that you can count and they're all got to be the same. So for example, I'm going to use these. Ooh. I'm going to use these cubes. So I'm going to measure how heavy all my items are using these cubes so that I can make sure I put them in the right order. For example, I've got this cube here. Okay, I'm going to put this cube in this side. There we go. My aim is to put enough of these in the other side to make them even, to make them equal. So here we go. I'll put one in. Are they equal? No. How about now? No. How about now? More? Are they equal yet? It's close, isn't it? Let's see if I put one more in. How about now? Maybe not quite. How about now? Yeah, they are now, aren't they? Look, they are the same level. So I can say, I can say that this cube weighs, ready, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six cubes. So that's all that was in there. So this big wooden block weighs six cubes. So your extra challenge is once you've found your five objects bigger than your item, uh, heavier than your item, and your five objects that are lighter than your item, I'd like you to weigh them all using something like cubes. You can use anything you like, just make sure they're big enough to be counted. I look forward to seeing all of your weighing on Tapestry soon.